One of the things that I work on here is this project called Serendip. It's kind of distinguishing the technological evidence of our own signals uh, from ET. Right now we are conducting this Serendip experiment from two telescopes. One is the Arecibo telescope, which is located in Puerto Rico, which is a 305 meter giant dish. It's massive and it's like, is a huge collecting area and it has a massive sensitivity and one of the best telescopes which we have right now. It's kind of pointing at a different locations in the galaxy and trying to collect data from that to do various kind of experiments like to search for pulsars or transient. But we can use the same data to search for ET. We are also trying to do the same thing with the GBT. The advantage with the GBT is that, that GBT allows us to cover large fraction of the sky as well as large fraction in frequency because if you want to really test the ET hypothesis that if there is intelligent population in the universe, you would like to cover as much parameter space as possible. Uh, the second project which I'm working on with the Break to Listen is on searching for broadband emission because there is no reason for us to expect that, that the ET would be communicating only using narrowband signal. They might be uh, sending us pulses or a broadband signal. So after I finish uh, my college, uh, I went to do PhD. Uh, in uh, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research has a center in Pune and they have this te giant telescope called GMRT. My work was mostly on pulsars. So pulsars are basically these tiny but massive objects uh, and uh, they, they have a huge magnetic field. And one of these pulsars named Crab Pulsar actually emits very strong these giant pulses. So we try to uh, study those giant pulses. And there is a theory out there which says that, that some of these uh, objects that we have discovered recently called FRBs could be coming from these giant pulses. So we are designing an experiment with that. So we have a, a small dish which will keep recording the data when we detect a giant pulse and we'll keep a track of all the giant pulses we collected. We aim to observe crab pulsar for over a year. We try to collect as much giant pulses as we can and we try to see its characteristic that does it show very extremely strong giant pulses, something like a thousand time or like a 12,000 time or 15,000 time. If you if you can show that, that yes, crab pulsar does emit those kind of strong giant pulses, that is a very good case that if you put crab in another galaxy, it may emit one pulse in a year, which you will detect from even sitting in our own galaxy. I think there is a good chance that we will find ET. One of the biggest challenge uh, in SETI right now is to distinguish uh, a truly extraterrestrial signal from human intelligence signal. Because uh, when you look at the sky, you're not only collecting data from the sky, you're also collecting data from Earth as well, and also from the nearby Earth, which is the satellites. And now we are making good progress in machine learning te uh, techniques, which is coming along pretty well. And I think in a couple of years, we will be able to classify most of the terrestrial transmission using the machine learning algorithms. Where I was growing up, we didn't have any excellent libraries to do science. We didn't have internet at that time. I didn't have internet when I was growing up. So, uh, and library uh, memberships were also very expensive. So me and my friend used to share a uh, library membership and like one month he borrows a book and then other month I used to borrow a book. And then, and this one time I borrowed this book uh, on, by Stephen Hawking on this universe in a nutshell and then kind of gave me a, a big picture about the universe and, uh, that how everything works. That's the kind of thing that kind of, you know, key kept me interested in pursuing this, this massive question that are we alone in the universe? And then I kept on discovering new things and end up here eventually. <laughs> in school, we had a chapter on astronomy and uh, the whole concept of the universe and the galaxies and that the number of stars out there is just fascinating and then in kind of, it grew on me and eventually uh, this whole question that are we alone in the universe is, is ob obviously one of the biggest questions that the humanity has asked. If you are not curious about this question, then you are not doing truly a good science. If uh, anybody who is watching this um, is interested in doing SETI, one of the things you can do is that you can download our screensaver, which is called SETI at Home. We are very famous. Every, probably you might have heard about it. And if you, if you run on your computer, that would be a good help to us as well, because as you can understand that 
SETI is a, some kind of experiment where we need a lot of processing power. So uh, as more people get involved, uh, it will be better. Or if India se zyada log participate karte hain, because India mein bahut sare computers hai. So if India se zyada log participate karte hain, to ye hamare liye bahut zyada faydemand hoga.